the Lagos Bedagri Expressway is a major highway with considerable economic importance to Lagos and Nigeria. For several years, the road was a major route facilitating considerable socio-economic exchanges between Nigeria and its West African neighbors. Over the years, there has been an astronomic increase in the volume of transaction within the axis and the resultant pressure on the road, coupled with the wear and tear over the years, had led to its being overstretched. The traffic build-up on the road was also suffocating and economically unfriendly, especially at such points as Orile, Mile 2, Volks, Yanoiba, Alabaragu, and Okokomaiko. To reverse the negative trend, the Lagos state government engaged the Chinese Civil Engineering Construction Company, CCECC, for the reconstruction and upgrading of the four-lane double carriageway into a ten-lane double carriageway with light rail alignment at the center from Eric Moore in Suuliri to Okokomaiko. For ease of execution, the project was divided into three lots. Lot 1 extends from Eric Moore to Mazamaza, Lot 2 from Mazamaza to Okokomaiko, and Lot 3 from Okokomaiko to Badagri. The Lagos Badagri Expressway is also another project that we met on ground, but we were determined to finish it. We took, we then decided we'll walk in faces, faces in trouble, in, in easy bites. So we told ourselves, we'll, we'll challenge ourselves from trade fair, we'll try to get to Lasso. And I'm glad on the, on the, from trade fair, we finished our trade fair. Mr. Gov was in January, he was at, he was at the 1st of January, he was at the, inspe was at the inspection tour, where he promised the people that we will try to get to Lasso come December. So one lane from the DSS, from the DSS, about a kilometer of the lane on the left hand, on the left hand side, Lagos, um, Lagos bound, about a kilometer is ready. The portion that you have that is not completed in that delivery to Lasso, as he said, is because of the Keja, the, uh, is because of the Lakija flyover that is being constructed there. Uh, the, the, it's expected that by August that flyover around the Lakija will have been finished. So bringing, bringing to pass what exactly he said, because we're committed. We stand by our word. It's about integrity. So if we say we'll do this, and that's exactly what we have done. The scope of works include provision of laybys for buses and service docks, construction of pedestrian bridges, BRT bus stops, pack and ride and BRT depots, towed link interchanges, flyovers, construction of toll plazas, road markings, road signs, traffic lights and landscaping among others. We thank God that uh, at least there's improvement for some time now, uh, this is our you know, but at least are uh, having a great improvement. You know, this place is market area, a place where people going to Gondo, people going to the International Road, Alaba, Abara, and all those. So, uh, how we wish that the tempo should be kept on, so that at least uh, this uh, uh, suffering will be reduced. We thank the government and ask them to increase their tempo so that work will be perfected soonest. Presently, the construction of Lot 1 from Eric Moore to Mazamaza has since been completed. Lot 2 was divided into segments. Segment 1 from Mazamaza to Agboju, which is also completed. Segment 2 from Agboju to Trade Fair is at 76% completion stage, while ongoing work on Segment 3 from trade fair to Okokomaiko is at over 80% completion. The remarkable progress recorded on the project is because the administration of Mr. Governor Babajide Sonwolu and the Deputy Governor Dr. Bafemi Hemzat prioritized the completion of the road due to its economic importance to the West African sub region. This is led to the delivery of Agboju to trade fair segment in year 2020. Already, the contractor has completed 
the 10 lanes from mile 2 to Vogue's and the service lane of Lagos bound traffic from mile 2 to Okoko Michael. We are planning to complete, complete the main road by the December of this year, 2021, with the support of all, all the stakeholders. With the commitment to deliver this project in December 2021, Lagos Pedagri Expressway will reduce traffic gridlock, ease the stress of movement by motorists and commuters, improve public health, enhance socio-economic activities and exchanges, and increase the state's and national gross domestic product, GDP. They are really improving because it wasn't like that before. It is very fast and they are really doing the job. I'm very improving. We just appreciate the government and we appreciate them for what they are doing. Without doubt, the administration of Mr. Babajide Sonwolu and Dr. Bafemi Hamzat is working to restore the status of this iconic international route, which links 11 local government and local council development areas locally, services various international markets such as Alaba and Espamda, and serves as gateway to more than five West African countries.